Hi, I'm Paul with AW Direct Tech Support. One of the many questions I receive from customers on warning lights is which one is the brightest? So today I would like to talk a little about the SAE standards and the classes that apply to warning lights and then actually show you some of the examples how brightness can differ between the classes and even light to light when the standards and class are the same. There are three standards that relate directly to the warning lights used in the tow industry. SAE J595, SAE J845, and SAE J1318. Within the standards, lights are separated into three classes, with class one being the brightest, class two is 25% of the brightness of class one, and class three is 10% of the brightness of class one. Bear in mind that these are minimum standards only. The tow operator's on-road reality with distracted drivers, poor weather, and nighttime jobs is we need to be seen. Class 1 provides the highest amount of light, which means the highest amount of visibility. So there is one more standard for warning light intensity that needs to be mentioned, and that's California Title 13. It's the toughest specification for light brightness and is required for the state of California. Okay, so let's turn on some Class 1, 2, and 3 beacon lights and see what the classes actually look like. As you can see, there'll be quite a difference between the classes. So this is class three, class two, and class one. So as you're looking through our catalog, you see lots of class one warning lights at all kinds of price ranges. You figure, let's save a few bucks and go with the inexpensive ones. They all meet class ones, right? And I don't need all those fancy flash patterns. Well, there is another consideration. Some manufacturers and light models surpass the minimum requirements of the SAE standards with more expensive LED technology, which is brighter, and in some cases, much brighter. Let's take a look. Now these are all class one warning lights. This is a least expensive version, a mid-range, and a more higher end LED warning light. And here are a few more examples. Again, all class one, least expensive, mid-ranged, and more expensive warning light. As you can see, there's quite a bit of difference between the least expensive and the most expensive. And one more point. While the color of the warning lights is spec'd out in the SAE standards, there is differences in the brightness depending on the color. These are identical warning lights except for their color. Let's take a look. So as you can see, the whites and amber are brighter compared to the reds and the blues. It's the nature of LED technology. While the colors we use in our trucks are determined by our states or cities we operate in, it's a good point to understand. Well, I hope this video gives you an idea of which warning lights are the brightest. Thank you for watching and make sure you contact us if you have any questions about our large selection of warning lights or any other product from AW Direct. Be safe out there.